Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode we are going to talk about Filabond, a material that I got from Zachary Torp, uh, the owner of the company Filabond. And he sent me a bottle of this uh, adhesive, or some kind of glue, uh, to try it out on my printers. Now, filabond is a material that you can use when you're printing ABS, for example, because uh, ABS has a tendency to warp while you are printing. So, uh, I have one printer which is particularly good for this kind of prints, and that's my rebuild of the Da Vinci Pro machine. Uh, it's no longer a Da Vinci Pro because I've made everything different in that machine, uh, but it's still got the aluminum print bed on which I'm printing. And uh, on that print bed I cleaned everything, I removed the, the build tech sheet that was on top of it, I completely cleaned it, I applied some drops of this filler bond, and uh, well, then I started using it. And I have to say, uh, it was the first time I directly printed on aluminum, but it worked very, very good. Uh, I heated up the build plate to 90 degrees Celsius, and uh, I used ABS uh, on 240 degrees Celsius, and it worked just fine. Uh, I made this duck that I have here, uh, it's printed in ABS and I think the quality, well, it's stunning. There was a lot of support structure going on and uh, all these supports gave me in previous versions a lot of troubles when I was printing in ABS because large support structures uh, they tend to warp and to break loose from the bed. So uh, this was why I was trying to print this duck uh, with this filler bond material. And none of the support structures came loose from the bed, which was really, really great. Then afterwards, on the same machine, I tried printing engine, uh, which also worked very nice. And I tried printing PATG, and also this worked great. Uh, note that you only have to apply it once uh, every five or ten prints. So uh, all those prints I did after the first print, they were all done on the same uh, droplets of filler bond. Now, then I got a commission work uh, uh, which I had to do, and uh, then I had to print in nylon. And this particularly gave me a problem, because I found out that even after reapplying some filler bond on my print bed, uh, the nylon didn't stick very well to this filabond. So then I completely cleaned my bed and I went back to uh, Biltec and glue, which worked great for the nylon I am using. Now, then when I was making this video, uh, I found out that all the recordings I made with the camera that was inside the Da Vinci Pro printer were lost because the camera died. Uh, so I had one big blue screen and that's everything I recorded and well, there were no images. So this was really, really uh, stressful. Uh, I, yeah, I thought of myself, well, maybe I should do it again. But then again, I have to do a lot of commission work and I need the nylon, which is now loaded in the machine. So I'm not able to do it on the same machine. That's why I applied some of this filler bond on my Ender 2 machine, printing in the back here. Uh, I applied it on the same way, although I used a little bit too much. Uh, this was because I gave it a too hard squeeze uh, when applying it. And yeah, th there is too much on that print bed. But as you can see, uh, it smears out very good over the complete bed. And now the bed sticks like crazy. Now, at this moment, I am printing PATG on uh, that print bed. Uh, PATG doesn't stick very well normally on the bed of the Ender 2, so normally I use glue when printing with PATG on that bed. And at this moment, I am printing with this uh, filler bond material. And I have to say, also, this works very well. If I feel with my fingers on the print bed, then I can feel that it, it, it's sticky. It's really uh, as if there is some kind of, of sticky surface on it. And uh, well, that's exactly what we need to have this print stick to the bed. 
Now the fun thing with uh, Filabond is that the moment it cools down, uh, the print can be broken off the bed very easy. So uh, it's not like like there is too much adhesion. There is just enough adhesion, and especially when the print bed is warm, uh, it, the adhesion is is very good. And when the print bed cools down, then uh, the adhesion is less, and then you can easily peel off your part. Now. The next question is, uh, would I uh, use it myself and would I, uh, well, would I say to you that you should also use it? I don't know. Um, I've tried it also on my JG Aurora printer for example and this was a pain in the ass. Uh, that printer has a glass bed with a diamond surface. Uh, those are small dots just like the Anacubic i3 Mega that has those. There it's called the, uh, it's called the Ultra Base Bed. And uh, if you have a print bed like that, well, don't bother using this material because you can't clean it afterwards. Uh, but when using something like a uh, build tech or a fake build tech or glass or plain aluminum or that kind of things, well, for sure try it because it really helps you very much uh, with having better adhesion between your material you are printing and your print bed. So you won't have warped prints anymore. Um, the price of a bottle like this, uh, the price is $10. Uh, and this is excluding the shipping costs. So uh, you buy a bottle like this for ten dollars, but you can use it for forever. I think uh, uh, the way I used it now, well, I think I can do maybe five or ten prints with only a few drips of it, and then I can again apply it and again and again. And I think there is enough material for me to use it for for maybe one or two months and I'm printing a lot. Uh, you can also buy larger quantities and then you have uh, a smaller fee you have to pay. So uh, for example if you buy uh, a quadruple uh, amount of, of uh, Filabond then you only pay $30 instead of $40. So uh, yeah, the more you buy the less you pay. Um, this is not a commercial, this is my personal thought about this product. Uh, although I received this for free, there is no money paid to me uh, for making this video. And also, uh, yeah, th these are really my thoughts and there is no affiliate link to this company. So uh, if you are planning to buy uh, Filabond, well, I don't, I don't receive anything of it. Uh, it's just my thoughts and, and the gentleman of Philabond was kind enough to let me test it and uh, I think it's, it's a real great product and uh, I will be using it and I will be buying it. So this is my review. Uh, I will do another review of another Philabond product which is this. Uh, this is their uh, uh, sticky build plate that you can put on top of your printer. It's a sticker. And uh, this will be good for PLA, ABS, uh, I thought PATG and also uh, PET and nylon. Uh, but I haven't used it yet, uh, so I, I have to try it out. I've not used it yet, uh, but I will be trying it out and then I will make another video about this printing service. So this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video uh, and give it a thumbs up. If not, then please give it a thumbs down, but also tell me why you are giving it a thumbs down, because I want to learn. And, uh, well, sorry for not having the videos of uh, this Donald printing in my printer. Uh, my camera died, I'm going to buy a new camera uh, to, to put inside the printer. And next time I will have it again. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around. Please don't forget subscribing, liking, that kind of things. And I'll see you. Bye-bye.